Hi, I'm Rick Van Avendijk from Dutch Growers Garden Center. Well, it's time to do some planting, but you know what? You need to have a few things and know how to do it to be able to be successful. So some of the things you need to do is you gotta pick your plant. And just remember, when you're picking your plant, pick the right plant for the right place, okay? That's important, so make sure it's gonna fit the spot you were at. Also, what you wanna make sure you do, because most soils in people's gardens are have clay in them. So make sure you have some triple mix topsoil with you to plant in around them. Because you wanna make the hole about twice as wide as the pot. You don't have to go that much deeper, but wider is more important for the roots to get out. And also, we wanna make sure we have some product called mics. Uh, when you use mics at Dutch growers here, we actually, it's a mycorrhizal, makes the roots grow like crazy. It's a bacteria. It actually will give you, because it works so well, we'll give you a five year guarantee. So your worries about whether the plant's gonna live or not is, is diminished because this helps the plant survive a lot better. So let's start planting. Once we've got the hole dug, we're ready to go. We want to prepare the plant. That's very important. So one thing you do, a lot of the plants have been growing in a nursery in a container. So a lot of times you'll see that the, this one's not too bad. It's actually perfectly rooted. But a lot of plants have the roots more spiraled around the pot. So what you want to do is you want to take the plant out of the pot and you just want to, what I call tickling the roots out. And so when I tickle the roots, see all these little fine hairs? They're all sticking outside. Outside of, that way if I tickle them like this, they're outside the root ball. When I put topsoil around with them, all these little roots will be now in contact with the soil, which is important because when it's hot out, what happens is that you water your soil and the soil is wet, but the root ball is intact, it's like being in a pot. So what will happen, the sun will hit these leaves, these great big leaves that are on the beautiful flowers, and it'll dry, it'll basically suck all the moisture out of the root ball, and it can't get outside. So when you're watering, make sure you're watering right at the trunk. So that you're watering this root ball in the soil, okay? Not necessarily the the soil will be still wet around from the first time you watered it. But almost every day, if it's 30 degrees out, this root ball will dry out just as if it's sitting in the garden center. We water every day, sometimes twice a day if it's really hot. So uh, just make sure, make sure you, you get all those roots sticking out so they get in contact with the soil because then they'll grab that moisture a lot quicker. Then stick your plant into the hole. Make sure you're the right depth. This one here I planted a little bit deep, so that's that's okay. I'm gonna put it, bring it back out, and I'm gonna put a little bit of soil back in the hole. Low top so here. I'm gonna pack it down because I don't want it to settle after I put it in there. So if you just throw a little loose dirt in there, it's just gonna settle down and be too deep. So I don't want to make sure I'm too deep because that basically will happen if you're too deep, you'll basically you'll drown the plant. It'll not have enough oxygen. So I want to make sure that this the soil that's in the in the in the root ball is the same as the existing soil, not necessarily the mulch, because you're gonna have about three inches of mulch on top of your garden beds to keep the weeds down but I want it as high as the existing soil that's in the bed. So that's important. Once I put it into the bed, I'm gonna trim the plant so it looks the nicest the way around here, which this way is pretty good. Then I'm gonna use the mics. And the mics are just in a vermiculite, you can see it there. And on that vermiculite is a bacteria. So what I do is I just take some of that mics and I rub it right on the roots, just in a, in a circular pattern. I do it in the hole so that the excess falls in the hole. That's very important. I don't want it to be on the, up in the ground where it's not going to help the plant. I want the excess to be in the hole. So I rub it on the roots so it's in contact. Put some on the top and then rub it on the roots. And now you have, and the instructions will tell you exactly how much to put in. Okay, usually it's about a cup to two cups depending on the size of the plant. So once you do that, now you take your soil that you have left over. And also I take my some enriched triple mix soil. It comes in the bags and then I'll just sprinkle this around the plant, all the way around the plant, so it has some nice rich soil that's in contact with all those roots I, do, I did, that I put out. And now that's just a nice fluffy soil with the plant with slug. And then I take my excess soil and I'll fill it in around the plant. And then we give it a good watering. Now what you're gonna do when you're watering this plant, you're running the water at least three times. So I'm gonna let it soak down, because it takes a while for the water to penetrate down. So I'm going to water it, I'm going to let it soak down, and then once it soaks down, I'm going to give it another watering again, let it soak down, and then I'm going to give it another watering again. And then once you do that, then it'll penetrate right down through the root ball and all the soil that's around it. This variety here is called uh, Candelabra. It grows three feet by three feet. White flowers right now, but by, by uh, fall, they'll almost turn like a pinky red color, and it's just 
gorgeous in color, especially all summer long, and it blooms right from about the beginning of July right up until the frost comes in the fall. So it's a great anchor and great place to put pop into your garden, especially when you have other plants around you like the spireas we have. We have this burning bush which turns red in the fall as well. It just gives lots of color. Like I said with the nine barks here, it just finishes off this whole bed. Come check us out here at Dutch Growers. We have lots of experts to help you out picking that right plant for the right place. So check us out at the corner of Batchers Drive and Central Avenue underneath the windmill or on DutchGrowers.com.